In this video we're going to write a percent as a fraction with the denominator 100 and then change the percent to a decimal also, okay? So we're just going to do this page of examples here, just these examples, okay? So we'll start with 50%. Now, um, can you write down what that is as a fraction? What is 50% as a fraction? Can you remember? You might be familiar that 50% is actually one half, okay? Now, what we need to look at is what percent means. This percent sign here, percent, um, the per part means divide. Okay, divide. And the cent part means 100. So on the word percent we have divide by 100 basically, divide 100, divide by 100. So 50 percent means 50 per 100. There's 100 cents in a dollar, right? So cent is the Latin word for 100. So 50 percent means 50 per 100, 50 out of 100. If 50 percent of um, uh, fifty percent of uh, students um, take a math class. That means fifty out of a hundred. Fifty out of every hundred students take a math class. If fifty percent of people are uh, female, that means fifty out of every hundred. Fifty per hundred are female, right? That's and of course we can. Uh, if you simplify this, you, uh, you know, if you put that in lowest terms, you get a half, right? 50% is a half. Um, now, what we're going to do is write this as a decimal as well, okay? Now, we've got 50 hundredths. So, as a decimal, that's 0 0.50 for 50 hundredths, okay? Now, 50 hundredths, of course, is the same thing as 5 tenths or just... Uh, 0 0.5. So I hope we're familiar with that, that 50% can be written like this. Okay. So in these examples we're, we're not even going to put the fraction in lowest terms, we're just going to go from uh, percent to fraction with denominator 100 and then um, decimal and that's it. So 90%, 90%, 90% of students pass this class, that's 90 out of every hundred that take the class pass the class. Ninety per hundred. Okay? And as a decimal, that's ninety hundredths. So how would you write that as a decimal? Write that as a decimal. As a decimal, zero point ninety. Ninety hundredths. Or of course simply zero point nine, right? So that's 90%. So please go ahead and do 10%. Um, what is 10% as a fraction with denominator 100 and as a decimal? Okay, 10% is 10 per 100, isn't it? 10 over 100. So 10 hundredths as a decimal is? 0 0.10 for because it's uh, units tenths hundredths right so ten hundredths and that can be simply written as 0 0.1 right and uh, of course we we usually write the answer as 0 0.9 and 0 0.1 0 0.5 because when you write it this way you need less uh, you don't usually leave the zero on the end but it is common to, you should put the zero in the front because, um, you know, sometimes when people write point 0.1, it's hard to see that point and you can't really see clearly if that is point 0.1 or not. Or if somebody went point 0.123, you might not be sure whether that's 123 or point 0.123. It's hard to see. So the, the common thing is to write 0 0.123 and 0 0.1, not point 0.1. Okay, anyway. Okay, 5% as a um, fraction is what? 5%. 5 per cent. What are you saying? You're saying 5 per 100. Okay? 5% of people 
have orange hair or red hair. That's five per hundred. If you take a hundred people, five of them will have red hair. That type of thing in a town or whatever, right? Five percent. Okay. And how do you write that as a decimal? As a decimal, that is zero point, not five, but zero five, right? Five percent is zero point zero five. Now fifty percent, that's zero point five zero, isn't it? Five percent is zero point zero five. Okay, that's five hundredths. Five hundredths. Okay, how about two percent? Two percent? Two percent of people have a black colored car. Two per hundred. Per cent. Two out of a hundred. And that is zero point zero two, isn't it? Zero point zero two. Okay, do one percent and then do one hundred percent and see what you come up with. Okay, one percent. One percent of people uh, are millionaire or whatever, right? One per hundred. One out of every hundred. One per hundred. Okay? And that can be written as zero point zero one, right? One hundred percent. You had a hundred percent on a test. What's that? This is 100 per 100. 100 out of 100, isn't it? Which, as a decimal, 100 hundredths, you could write 1.00, if you want, or simply 1, right? So 100% is the same thing as the number 1. It's kind of a funny way to write the number one, but it's true. 100% is the number one. Okay. Okay. So that is going from uh, a fraction with the denominator 100 and then going to a decimal. Um, and, you know, with these ones, we'll do the fraction with a denominator 100 because we need the practice. But we'll also see a kind of a trick to it as well. But 50.3%, if you please write this as 50.3 per 100, okay? And now we have practiced things like this. If you want to move the decimal point to the right, okay, wouldn't you multiply it by 10? If you multiply this by 10, the decimal, that becomes 503, but you must multiply the bottom by 10 as well to get an equivalent fraction, okay? So that would be 503 over 1,000. 503,000 thousands. And how can you write that as a decimal? It would be 0 0.503. 503 thousands, right? But of course, the um, the quick way of doing it is just, and this is kind of weird, move the decimal point two spaces to the left and write 0 0.503 and then stick a zero here. And then that's your answer, 0 0.503. And like with 50%, we could have just said, okay, the decimal point is here, move it to the left two spaces, I have 0 0.50 or 0 0.50. That's the answer. That's what 50% is. It's 0 0.50. So go ahead and do that with 90%. The decimal point is here. If you want to turn a percentage to a um, decimal, what do you do? Move the decimal point one, two spaces to the left, and that's 0 0.90 or 0 0.90. 
course, there's a problem if I show you this, then you'll just start trying to remember, do I move it this way, do I move it that way, how many times do I move it, and you'll make all sorts of mistakes. So moving it to one side is is, is a really bad way to learn it. And uh, But, you know, I have to say it because you're going to see that for yourself anyway. So what can I do? <laughs> anyway, 91.8%. We're going to do it uh, this way, 91.8%. It's 91.8 per 100 is what it is. 91.8 per percent is per, is divided by 100. Now, if I want to turn that into, uh, to, if I want to get rid of this decimal, you see, I would multiply this fraction by what? Over what? By 10 over 10, right? And 91.8 multiplied by 10 becomes 918, doesn't it? and that's over um, 1000 and so that is 918 thousandths and how do you write that as a decimal? 0 0.918 okay so we're really showing it clearly why this is this de this percentage is this decimal but the trick to remember if you just want to turn it from a percent to a decimal right away, you can just move that two spaces to the left and put in your decimal point here, and now you have 0 0.918 or 0 0.918. See, same thing, right? But we need to, I, I like you to do it both ways, at least in the video, just so you can actually understand it to some degree instead of just memorizing things. Okay, 12.25% is 12.25 per 100. 12.25 per 100. Okay, now what do I do to get rid of to kind of get rid of the decimal here? What what can I multiply this by if I want to move the de decimal point over so this becomes just a whole number, not a decimal number? Well, I want to move the decimal point two spaces, so I've got to multiply it by a hundred, right? And the same in the bottom, isn't it? right and so in any case this becomes 1 2 2 5 over 10,000 or 0. Point, I've got 1,225 10 thousandths so 0. 0.1225 right and of course the, the trick is look if you want to turn a percentage to a decimal you just move this decimal point two spaces to the left and now you have point one two two five or zero point one two two five. Okay. Um, so go ahead and do this one. Three point five percent. Figure this one out on your own. See what you come up with. Write it as a. Do it the fraction way, and then do it the quick way by moving the decimal point two spaces to the left. Okay. Okay. I hope you've tried it. I'm going to do it now. Hope you've tried this. So 3.5 per cent is 3.5 divided by 100. Okay. And if I want to turn this into a whole, like the 3.5 into a whole number, if I want to turn 3.5 into a whole number, I can multiply it by. 10 you see because then 3.5 times 10 is 35 but I must multiply the bottom by 10 100 times 10 is 1000 so I have 35 thousandths 35 thousandths and as a decimal that is 0 0.035 because we have units tenths hundredths thousandths 35 thousandths see that now, if I want to use my trick, I've got to be careful because this decimal point doesn't just stop here. It must go two spaces to the left. In which case, I'll need to put the decimal point here and stick in a zero placeholder. And then, so it's point zero three five, point zero three five, and then stick another zero over here. Okay. So what about this guy? Two point two five percent.
Let's just do it the quick way. Move the decimal point two spaces to the left. What are you going to get? Move the decimal point two spaces to the left. So you don't just stop here. You've got to go two spaces, right? So it's point zero. Point zero two two five. So zero point zero two two five is the answer. Okay. How about zero point four percent? How many spaces do you move the decimal point? It's divided by a hundred, so it's zero point four divided by a hundred means you must move decimal space two spaces to the left. So it's point zero point zero zero four or 0 0.004. Now press pause and do this one. 0.2 percent. You must move the decimal point one, two spaces to the left. So it's point, and then put in a zero placeholder. So I've got point zero zero two. Point zero zero two or zero point zero zero two, right?